Now with me is Duncan Buchanan from the Road Haulage Association. Good Duncan, what sort of problems, what could happen in the event of a no-deal Brexit? Well, the key issue is the fact that uh, our traders and operators are not prepared for what is coming next to, with terms of Brexit. The uh, paperwork requirements is an order of magnitude different from what happens at the moment. Uh, what is a se effectively a seamless border becomes a, a very hard customs border in the event of a uh, 31st of October exit. Uh, the scale of the paperwork is enormous and is often misunderstood and not appreciated. Each one of the lorries, you mentioned 15,000 lorries there adding up between Dover and the tunnel. Each one of those lorries can have one shipment in or 10,000 shipments. Every one of those has to have customs processes around it. And unfortunately at the moment, the traders, the importers and exporters, do not know what they need to do to make that work. And what we're calling on the government to do is to provide clear, concise, simple guidance so that that paperwork process can begin and be handled effectively. Because if we fail to do that, the queues are going to be 24, 48, 72 hours long all the way up the M20, Manston and throughout Kent. What do those queues mean for people working in the Road Haulage uh, Association in that industry, if they happen? Well, those queues are actually predicted to happen. We really are working. Brock is being planned around 24, 48, 72 hour queues. Uh, what it means for drivers is that um, they need toilet facilities, they need uh, welfare facilities. We don't want uh, uh, truck drivers going to the toilet on the side of the road. This is, this is the 21st century, not the 19th century. We shouldn't be treating people as badly as this. Drivers need to be treated with respect and we need to have the facilities in place for drivers while they're engaging in these idle queues, uh, which are completely unproductive from the road haulage point of view. And even worse for exporters and importers, it means that they don't know when the goods that they are buying or selling are going to get to the other end. Duncan, thank you very much. Thank you.